Hey Queen, so I have swatched Unicorn Blood, Androgyny, I'm Shook, Daddy, and I feel like one more Jeffree Star color, I'm not sure. You can go through those videos, I'll link them somewhere below if I remember to. But I just thought I'd do another little swatch video of a Jeffree Star lip that I got. Mm, I want to say it was around Black Friday or something like that, so I have worn it a couple times. It's very different compared to the other formulas. Obviously, I believe he kind of said this about it. And if you want to see other lip swatches of Jeffree Star Colors, just let me know. I think I have Dreamhouse. Uh, what, what other one is there? Um, I think it's Dreamhouse. There, there's like one or two more, but if you want to see another one, just let me know down below. And I don't know. So the color I have is Rich Blood. Now, I did... Someone swatched this on me when I met Jeffree Star, so if you want to see that vlog, you can watch it too. And it was pretty cool. It was very different. Um, Unicorn Blood, I will say, is my favorite. I feel Unicorn Blood by itself when it dries down. It's just the most beautiful, I want to say like rustic, but it is like a true blood red, like when blood dries down, so to speak. Like that's literally what it is, but just so it's nice. And I think for my skin tone, I just love it. Like that's just one of the colors that, with the gloss on it, it just looks so, I don't know, like, you look like a sex doll, like, with blow-up lips or something. I don't know how, to, how else to say it. But it's really cool. I like that color. Like, hands down, my favorite Jeffree Star lip color ever. Like, I think that's just one of them that's just, like, wow. Um, I like Androgyny, but with the gloss over it, I feel like it's the perfect new lip for me, specifically. Um... You can probably find your own new lip by like playing around with these other colors because if you do know androgyny that one like when it dries down it's very different compared to what it looks like in the bottle um rich blood stays true to its color more or less uh comes in the pink and rose gold packaging so you know if you see the daddy and i'm shook swatches that one is obviously with many mua so that one is black with holographic silver and those in were like a light brown color, which I did get complimented on, which I really didn't think I would like it. I kind of like it more than I thought I would. And also when someone complimented me on the lip color, I was like, oh, why this is supposed to look good on me? I'm Shook is a little too corally for my liking. Rich Blood, again, is one of those. It is a blue undertone red, obviously, and it does have glitter in it. I don't know if you can see that sheen and those little tiny sparkles that it has. But it does have this blue glitter in it. Now, if you do have Dream House, um... I think First Class is the newest one. Uh, what are the other two? The metallic lips, basically. If you have those ones, you basically know that those metallic lips, they don't dry down. I don't want to say they're gummy, but they just have this weird, moussey texture to them, more or less. And when going like that, they're not matte. They're not... They never really dry down. Like, they are matte lips, but in reality, they don't dry down and... It's more gummy, so to speak. I feel like these are all negative commentations, but just comparing the formula to obviously his other liquid mattes is just different with these kinds. So this one isn't as crazy, so to speak, as like Dream House or like those other ones. But I will say this one does kind of fall in between and obviously like trying to add the glitter to it and the sparkle is going to do that. So other than that, it's a really nice one. It does last pretty long. So you can kind of, of course, like dab it just to make it last a little bit longer. Or just keep reapplying, reapplying if that's what you like. But this is one of those matte lips from Jeffree that you will kind of have to reapply, especially if you do eat or drink. Like, you just will, as opposed to the other ones. And I don't mean that, like, oh my gosh, like, it's going to come off in, like, one, like, thing. But as compared to, obviously, a matte lip, and especially Jeffree's matte lips, which they are just so weightless on your lips. And it really is a unique formula, you guys. Like, this is some good stuff. And let's just get into it, honestly, for the swatches. So... If, this is what I mean. Like, if you can see, normally this is coated in color. Like, if you have any Jeffree lip, but it is still almost, like, translucent. Where you can't see that this formula is an... I don't want to say opaque or pigmented, because it is, but it is just a very different moussey kind of a gel-like formula, so to speak. And that's why you can still see through the applicator part in the sense of, like, the clear part of the one that's usually going to be coated in color. This one, you are just seeing through it, just because that is the way the formula. And even putting it in, it still kind of comes up a bit. And that's just because, again, this formula is so, I guess, unique to metallic-y kind of a liquid formula that kind of wants to dry down matte, but it really doesn't dry down matte. And 
Either way, it's a beautiful color, but if you can see the doe foot applicator, it does look a little rough, so to speak, compared to the usual doe foot applicators on the other ones. So this one does kind of have like a weird look to it just because, again, the formula is that weird. Moosey gel-like kind of a thing. I don't really know how to explain it, but if you have it, you know it compared to the other ones. So let me just apply this on using my little skin frost mirror. So this is what rich blood looks like on. Um, I usually have trouble, I think everyone does, with like red, so to speak, or very deep colors. Trying to get like a very crisp line, so to speak. So unfortunately, with this formula and the doe foot, the way it kind of messes with the doe foot, so to speak, you don't get that really clean line that most normally you would want with a red lip. Like it does look a little bit wonky. Um, the top looks okay, but it's just always this. Um, I did kind of have the same issue with unicorn blood, but I could still get it more straighter than possible. Obviously, you can always take concealer, more foundation, and just fix it. Um, but, I don't know, it's a very nice color. Now, you can see the sheen to it, and it does have this stick to it. I kind of want to say it's kind of like if you have a glue stick. Let's see. Like, there's... There's this odd feeling to it. You can kind of feel it sitting on your lips. Especially going like this, you can feel it. Now, with Unicorn Blood, it felt a little bit drying. This one feels like it wants to dry, but also like if you're stretching it out, so to speak. So, huh. It's weird to explain the... The way it feels on the lips, it is a nice red. I do prefer I do prefer unicorn blood more than I do rich blood, but I think this is just like the lighter version. I know he has designer blood now, and I think there's another one, but I think for kind of an everyday red that's like not dark like unicorn blood and probably not as. It's like an airy kind of a spring red, like it's kind of a I want to say like a cherry red, but I feel like cherry sometimes is like kind of dark, but. Kind of like a gummy red. It does seem a little bit darker in person than it is coming out on camera. Like it does seem a little bit more like brighter. Like I would say like coral, but not really. I see the sheen more in person. It's almost like, that's why I say it kind of has that metallic formula feel because it does kind of seem like it wants to be metallic, but it doesn't. And I don't know if that's because of the added glitter to it or because maybe Jeffrey was going for like a metallic red, but this really didn't work out. Maybe like poinsettia did in the future, but I do like this color. It doesn't really emphasize the lines in my lips, and I do take care of my lips. I usually have a lip balm under anything that I use. This is without lip balm, so again, if we kind of go in a little bit closer, you you really don't see anything on my lips, so to speak, in terms of lines or wrinkles. Now, you can see a little bit at the top right there, but I mean, that's nothing like major, so to speak. So I know with matte lips, like usually it's going to emphasize like lines and wrinkles. This one seems to do okay. And I do think because this is a little bit more gel or mousse-like, you're not really going to have that issue. And even from afar, it just looks nice. And I will say this is one of those, like, I feel like it's just a Christmas red. Like, Unicorn Blood is too dark, but this is just one of those nice Christmassy reds, so to speak. And it doesn't leave you, like, weird. Like, you will feel it, I think, more on the edge of the lips as opposed to the parts of your lips that are normally touching. But, I mean, you can still see that. So you are going to feel this lip more as opposed to Daddy and I'm Shook specifically. You're not going to feel it in terms of unicorn blood where you kind of feel it like drying a bit. Or like kind of like you can feel like the life being sucked out of your lips. It doesn't have that like weightless feel because I feel like when you're talking and moving, you can kind of feel it being like stretched or pulled. Again, that sticky feeling that I keep on reiterating. It's just because I feel like when you feel something on your lips, you're kind of just like over it, so to speak. In the sense, you're like, eh, which I'm not knocking down the formula or anything, but I'm just like, this obviously is a very different formula compared to I'm Shook and Daddy and, you know, like even Dreamhouse, so to speak. Like it has that weird, it wants to be metallic, but it doesn't formula. And I just, I don't know. I do like the color, the pigmentation. 
you do have to finesse a bit with the wand. You do have to work with it because again of the formula and the doe foot, you're not really going to get the crispest line again. You can crispest line and you can always just clean it up with some concealer or just use a lip brush if you wanted to just to get those lines that you want or always just use a lip liner. I kind of use this with the Neutrogena, I want to say the Smooth Stick or something like that and one of the red colors that they have. And I usually like line my lips and kind of fill them in a bit and then I put this over it just so I can kind of get a crisper line. Now again, I feel like the top is okay, but the bottom, of course, you can kind of see like it's not, it's not the best. So I don't know. And again, these are like $18, so they're not bad. And I think anybody would like this red specifically. And it just has this beautiful sheenness to it because of the glitter that's in it. It is a blue glitter, and I know Jeffree said like, if you go like that, you can kind of get the glitter to pop out a bit and stuff. But again, this isn't matte. So it's drying down, but it's not. Of course, with Daddy and I'm sure those ones dry down fast. And your crumb blood takes a little bit of time as well as androgyny, but you can feel those ones. And this one, it transfers. That's why I say like this is one of those formulas where it wants to be matte and it wants to be a metallic, but it really doesn't know where it's going. So again, this one is going to fade a little bit faster as opposed to the other ones. It's, it's, it's unique. It's a very unique formula. It's pigmented. You just got to work with it a bit, especially if you have bigger lips like I do. But it's just this beautiful blue toned red. I feel like if you put a gloss over this, this would look really nice. I've never done that specifically. Um, compared to the Katie Cat gloss in Ninth Life, which you can watch the review on that one, this one seems to be kind of like that, but matted down. I don't know if you were to put like a clear gloss over this, if it would look like Ninth Life from Katy Perry. I feel like not entirely because of the glitter in it also. But this is one of those, I feel like maybe if you put a gloss over it, it would look nice. That's all personal preference. But as a matte lip, again, nice. You're going to feel it sticky. It's a metallic kind of formula, so to speak. My skin tone, I like it. Deeper skin tones, I feel like this would be pretty cool also. Lighter skin tones. That's why I feel like this is one of those all-around reds. Like, I think of Christina Aguilera wearing this red during her um, Back to Basics phase. Like, you know, Blonde Bombshell in a red. I feel like it's that red. This is that red color that you would kind of see everyone wear, so to speak. And I don't know, the more I look at it and the more I think about it, like it kind of goes with the eye look that we have. I feel like I would prefer Unicorn Blood with this eye look, so to speak. But overall, it's a nice, it's a nice color. I really do like it. Of course, again, this is just one of those that you have to work with. And you're not going to get the smoothest line again. So you got to work with it. You got to play around with it. You got to use concealer or lip brush, whatever you prefer to do. It's not transfer proof. So... It's going to transfer, so that means it's just going to fade. And even when you do that, that sticky feeling still doesn't go away. So you can still feel that stick on your hand and that stick on your lip. And the more you do that, the more you kind of see the color fade. And let's just hear the heck of it. Going like this, trying to get the glitter activated, so to speak. You can kind of see there's more of a sheen in the glitter to it. Kind of on the bottom lip, which is why I say this one wants to be metallic, but it's not. But of course, doing that, you are going to like, it looks like a hot Cheetos. This is one of those that like you are going to have to reapply, obviously, because it's not going to be as long lasting as those other lip colors. And again, just doing that, it doesn't really say, which I mean, you could also finesse it like that, I guess. Try to spread the pigmentation, but you are wiping most of it off. I feel so, again, this is one of those that is going to more or less not be transfer proof. So I'll you have like a balm under it or something. Like, it's going to transfer much more easily. Probably sounds like negatives, but not entirely. I'm just saying compared to other things, you know, depending if you want to buy this or not. It is nice, though. So if you take good care of your lips, though, you don't, again, have emphasized lines in your lips. So... I don't know. This is a nice color, you guys. I really like it. And if you like this lip swatch video, I can swatch the other ones. This one doesn't really stain your lips. It kind of leaves like a little thing to it, but it doesn't. It's not like other lip colors. It's not like Androgyny where that one kind of left like a tint to your lips. And Unicorn Blood wipes off clean. I'm Shook and Daddy wiped off clean. This one kind of, 
it leaves like a there but not kind of like if you had like a little cherry popsicle like if you kind of like wiped it off and then like wipe it off like it just has like a nice flush to it but it doesn't really stain you so if you can see my hand it's like stained but it's not like it's a barely bare stain which is why i say on the lips it just looks nice like again like if you had like something red but it's faded already so that's why i'm saying it's not the worst lipstick in this collection it's just Personally, it's not my preference because of the formula and the way I can feel it on my lips. I just don't like that. But if you do like the color and stuff, I do say it's a perfect color for everybody. I do like the color. I do like it. I do like that glitter aspect. But again, because of my preference, I just don't enjoy wearing this red as much as I do. I'd rather prefer wearing a red gloss, which is harder and more maintenance. But I don't know. I feel like this is one of those, like if I really didn't want to mess with the gloss, like a red gloss or something and then I would rock this but I would again like try to use something to get like the sharpest line in my lip and try to like make it look nice because again this is because of the application and the formula or the applicator and the formula you're not going to get the crispest line especially if you have bigger lips or you have like thinner lips maybe because you know it's not going to be as hard to kind of work with your lips but again you can see this is wonky and I don't really like it in that aspect of symmetry but this is a nice lip color, and I think for $18, you can get it. Um, Beautylish, you get free shipping at $35, so just get two lips, like, every month or every time you get paid, so to speak, and you can build up a collection like that. So you can get two Jeffrey lips or when he has sales and anything like that, you know, build up your collection slowly and see if you like reds. This is one of those reds that I think universally is flattering and that most people don't like. But again, personally, I just don't like it. So... Anywho, I want to say hi to Rami Malik and stay safe and God bless.